Welcome back to another Inspired Chats. Soon this will be changed. This will become a video podcast. We're just waiting on a few things in the mail for our podcast uh, setup. So for now, let's talk about some mini trucks. In this episode, we're going to talk about some of the trucks that are around today that are still driving and some trucks that are getting built. Now, first one that we're going to talk about is Tom's D40. We posted this a couple days ago and it was blew up. We had a lot of people liking it and commenting on the photo just because it is different. So Tom has outdone himself on this. He's a bagged Nissan D40 shorty. You don't see these every day and not many people build these, but this one's unique. It's got a little bit of a secret underneath the bonnet. It's got a barra. It's a non-turbo barra, which is still cool. Like it's got potential to do a lot more with it. People should build this more often. It, it, it's absolutely killer. Next up, we got Mr. Matt Erbergerber. He has a Rideau that was originally a 4 cd one turbo. Uh, had billets, it was gold, well, it still is gold. And it's just, it's like, it's like one of those trucks that's very underrated. It has now gone under the knife again. It has a 1J in it now. Braden Wall did some work on the engine bang, got the engine sorted in it. The rest of the car is still looking the same. It's gold with billets and everything. It, it's sick, that, that truck's got some big potential and we can't wait to see that out. The Kurt at Mini Fabrication and Mechanical has been building a bunch of mini trucks in the last few months and this truck that he just did the other week, Dan Hogan's truck, it, it, it's sick. As far as I know, Dan's putting a big V8 in it, uh, so it's got all coil on the rear and big tyres and short and diff and everything like it. it is, it's pretty fucking sick, I'm not going to lie, I actually really really like this. He's also had Leah's truck in the shop which is pretty sick, he's been doing a lot of work on that, replacing uh, the suspension set up in the front and everything. It's now got like the Mazda style wheels on it. it. It's absolutely wicked. He's done an outstanding job on that. Leah's truck looks cool. I cannot wait to see that cruising the streets. So next up we've got this RJ Colorado, which is at Ching's workshop at Disguise Customs. He's been doing a bunch of work on this. It is absolutely sick. You don't see RJ Colorado's getting any work done to this modification and I think it's gonna be a wicked truck at the end of the day. Here's something a little bit different. David Nutton has been building something on the sly. He has an Isuzu MU, which is bad on, I'm pretty sure it's a Hilux chassis. Got a whole heap of work done to it. Uh, it's still mid build, so there's still a lot of work to do, but it's looking fucking sick. It's so good to see someone doing something a little bit different. Now, if you've been following the Inspired Existence YouTube channel for the last couple of years, you would have remembered our In The Build series with Momo of the Kebab. So the Kebab is still around. It is still over in WA in Perth. Still gets driven today. Still in really good condition. The new owner's got new wheels and everything on it. He always looks after it. It just turned out wicked at the end of the build where Momo had it and it's just getting better and better every time. Now here's a truck that's very underrated that not many people know about. Is Michael Warren's Wazza. He's Runamex. So his Runamex, that he calls it, is an 80 style Hilux that's bagged all around with billets. It also has a tilt tray, but that's not the it's not the main thing that makes it cool. Check out the tub. So he's kept the old body lines in the tub, like the floor where it's got the grooves and everything. He's kept that in there and made his own style about it. And he drives the hell out of it. So yeah, check it out. Another truck that gets driven a lot is Chad Berry's Ford. This thing's cool, it's bright red, it's got billets. Uh, it is insanely clean. Like I can't, I can't express how clean this truck is and it's good to see he still drives it. So the next truck that's in the build, which is pretty cool, is Jesse's F truck. It is bagged and bodied. Now a lot of people build F trucks these days, but they always go the fancy paint or they go like smoothies and whatnot. This is a bit different. He's kept the original patina paint on it for now. As far as I know, he could be painting it. I reckon it looks wicked right now. It's just F trucks when they're bodied and bodied this hard just look absolutely sick. So next up, we've got something a little bit different. Darcy Charters has been building a KB Rodeo and it's not on airbags. It is on hydraulics. So if you want to see this truck, Cruise of the Pines 2022 is coming up. It is a killer show. It's in the middle of nowhere down in Victoria, which I wish I could go, but unfortunately COVID, you can't really travel at the moment. But if you want to see some cool cars, cool trucks, that is a show you got to get to. That is coming up. If you want more information, check out Cruiser of the Pines uh, Facebook page 
or check out our website inspiredexistence.com. We're gonna have the full coverage of that on there. So one guy that's been in the scene for a very long time is Toasty. Now Toasty's been building his Hilux Lux to see for a very long time. And I could say my opinion is it's finished. Uh, I don't know what he thinks, but the truck is absolutely amazing. It's got a full interior. It's got a wicked paint job. It's got a Booster 3RZ in it. It's got the old school Dolcies. I think the Dolcies are old school sex spec style billets on this truck. It's an outstanding truck. Uh, he's outdone himself with this one. The next in the build is Nunny's Hilux. I don't know where it's up to right now because it's been a while since I've seen it. But when I was at Aaron's shop last year, it got a whole bunch of work done. It's got an LS, it's bagged. The interior sheet metal work that Aaron did at Memphis Hell is crazy. Everything lines up, symmetrical, it, it's so good. It also has suicide doors, it's got a bill of grill and everything in it. So another guy that's been getting a whole bunch of work done on his Hilux is Jordan Fullerton from Queensland. Now, if you saw our old Inspired Stories video we did of him and Jackson Healy a few years ago, you would have realized it was a bagged and bodied Hilux in Primer. He's now been going the next step on it. He's got a Booster 3RZ in it, and he's painted the engine bay, so the engine bay color is absolutely sick. I wonder if he's gonna do the rest of the truck that color. Who knows, but it's looking cool, and I cannot wait to see this cruising the streets and doing some power skids. So a little while ago, we did a little bit of a feature on Thomas Tatton's Hilux, which was Booster 1 JZ in it, it was white billets, and bag and bodied. His daily is also just as cool. He's got a Hilux, it's in like a, it's a weird bronze burgundy type color, which just sets it off right. It's got really nice wheels on it. it still has the rear bumper on it, which is pretty cool. Just a really nice, well-built truck. So last but not least is Dan Wright's Ford Ranger. Now this is bagged and bodied on smoothies. It's in primer at the moment. I got no words for this. It's one of my favorite trucks that's getting built at the moment. It's just very, very different. So that's it for this episode of Inspired Chats. Be sure to check out our other videos on this channel. You will not be disappointed. But before you go, check out these old school Australian mini truck and shirts are now live on the certified printing website. So be sure to check out that. Grab yourself some shirts. So like and subscribe. Keep an eye on all our social media platforms, Facebook and Instagram, as we will be releasing a video podcast very, very soon. So on saying that, keep trucking.